Hey everyone and once again welcome to WS Crypt Tech English channel. Myself from Arthas Kheer. Guys, in this particular video of Facebook ad series, we are basically going to talk about our ad creative. So, in this particular video specifically, we will be talking about the creative specifications, formats and what dimensions uh, are there with regards to different types of creatives, what the dimensions are there with regards to different types of ad formats. So, formats, creative, their dimensions and uh, where we can see all these things. This is what we are going to discuss in this particular video right so guys first of all what we have to understand is we have different formats right so mostly we have three formats uh, through which we can uh, create our uh, ad and these formats are either we can use single image or we can use carousal carousal images also we can use carousal images and videos carousal images and videos or we can use videos individually in our ads Okay, we can also use uh, like uh, carousal videos. So we have all these different uh, formats. We can use carousal videos. We, we have all these kind of different formats that we can actually use in our ad creative, right? And also we can use instant experience ad that is a very different kind of ad creative or ad that we can use in Facebook ads, right? So we have all these different types of formats. Now, one thing is very important that in what scenario, in what campaign objective, we should go for what kind of format right so we have to learn that how can we actually map our format with the campaign objective so whatever your campaign objective is your ad or your creative or your type of ad should uh, map to that particular campaign objective or should align with the goal of that particular campaign objective this is very important you cannot run a carousal video ad for something which basically does not suit it right for, for the campaign objective which actually does not map with it so you have to identify that there should be some relation, there should be some positive relation between your ad and between your uh, campaign objective, right? So whenever you are selecting your campaign objective at that particular moment of time, you also have that uh, uh, that image in your mind that what kind of format we are going to uh, select is in this particular campaign objective, right? So you have to understand all these things. In most of the cases, when we are doing brand awareness, we go with these uh, like uh, single image options. Or whenever we are running e-commerce ads, whenever we are running e-commerce ads, we basically choose carousal images or carousal videos or dynamic carousal images. So we should know that in what camp and objective, what kind of creative or what kind of format we are going to select. This is again very important thing, right? So this is the first thing that we should know the mapping. And if you come over here, uh, you can see whenever you will come to this ad section over here and you will uh, see this ad setup, you will see different formats over here. You have single image or video either you can upload a single image as uh, you can see over here but this is the carousal but if you see uh, this is the square image you can uh, you can upload a single image like this one or you can go with the single video or you can also create a slideshow of different images and then you can create the carousal that, that is what we did over here as you can see we can have two or more scrollable images or videos or the combinations of both to create uh, uh, like carousal ads so we have all these different formats right so first of all what we have to do is we have to learn mapping our ad creative with our campaign objective once we uh, once we know that how can we actually map or once we have selected it perfectly that okay this is the ad type that will go well with our this kind of campaign goal then only uh, we should um, focus on creating actual creative but before that we uh, we have to decide that on what format we are going to create the creative right and then the second problem which comes is that what dimensions we should select and what kind of a specification each format has so for that i will basically recommend you to go to this facebook's uh, official page over here and this page is all about facebook's ad guide and and you can see the url of this particular page so you have all these uh, different formats over here like images videos carousal and collection so if you go to images you can see uh, you have the option of uh, selecting a placement over here so if you are using images in Facebook right column, then what can uh, be the design or what kind of text recommendations are there? What kind of technical requirements are there? You have to study all these things. So I'll recommend you to do read all these things only for once so that you know that, okay, whenever we are going to create any creative, we can follow this documentation over here, right? So they are telling you what kind of objective you uh, can select with regards to Facebook right campaigns. So we have different objectives over here. We can go for like, like this traffic objective. We can go for conversion objective. 
we can go for catalog sales right so you can play with these objectives over here to see what kind of uh, call to action is available right this is how your facebook right column ad will look like so if you are going to facebook stories and you are using images into facebook stories this is how it will look right you can also go ahead and create mock up of this and for the brand awareness brand awareness campaign objective you will you will have this apply now call to action option by default right so if you'll go ahead and change all these things like if you will go and select traffic you can see shop now over here right so whenever you are selecting image right single image as your ad creative you have different placements available over here and on these different placements you can show your ad in the form of images right so guys what you can do is basically once you have selected your format over here then please do choose your placement like i am choosing facebook feed then uh, we can see that what kind of file type is supported what should be the ratio what should be the resolution if we are doing all these things along with this they are also recommending us about the text that we uh, that we used to enter into our ads right so we have primary text over here and their guidelines is for like 105 characteristics and then we have headlines we have descriptions so all these options are available over here then we have some technical requirements also present over here along with the aspect ratio tolerance so they are providing us so many options so many um, uh, suggestions basically that uh, how we can or recommendations that how can we actually create our image or what kind of formats or uh, technical uh, requirements or text recommendations are there uh, with regards to image uh, creative and uh, play facebook feed as a placement right then again we can go to this video section which is present over here and we can again select video as format uh, our ad format and then we can select a placement uh, from the below given uh, options and then we can uh, then we can see the different specifications that they are uh, recommending us right so this is what uh, this uh, guide tells us and there are a lot of things like image video carousel you can study all kind of formats uh, on which you actually want to run ads so again i'll recommend you to at least go there for like once only and read all these things so if this is this is basically for the beginners if you are about to create ad i'll recommend you to please do go on this link and see uh, what is your campaign objective what is your uh, ad format and uh, what is your placement then then try to create your creative based on these recommendations right so that's it if you want to know more about uh, uh, the different formats and their uh, specification you can definitely uh, read more on this ad guide so that's it for this specific video see you in the next video till then goodbye